fireworks are fantastic to see in photos, but are hard to shoot well. However, there are a number of techniques that can allow you to take some spectacular shots of fireworks. Plan in advance. Make sure you have an unobstructed view of the fireworks by arriving well before the show begins. Find a place away from light sources like street lamps or car lights, and where people won't walk in front of you. Finally, make sure you're upwind of the fireworks display. Fireworks create smoke that will obscure the explosions as the smoke moves towards you. Smoke behind the explosions will reflect the light and make a better shot. Fireworks photography works best with a slow shutter speed like 1 to 15 seconds. Because of this long shutter speed, you don't need a high ISO, so set that to 100. On your camera, use shutter priority mode so you can set a specific speed. If you do want to control the aperture too, set a medium aperture like f8. There's enough light coming from the fireworks that you don't need a wide open aperture. If your camera doesn't have shutter priority mode, look for the fireworks scene mode which will tell your camera to keep the shutter open for longer than normal. The idea is to capture both the initial explosion as well as the trails left behind by the burning particles. Anywhere from 1 second to 15 seconds will work. Try a few different options and use what's best. If you can't control the shutter speed, take lots of shots. Use continuous mode to keep the camera shooting. Some of the shots won't work, but you should get a number of good shots for the night. It's essential to use a tripod for fireworks photography because of the long shutter speeds. A tripod will steady your camera, so you'll avoid fireworks images with jagged streaks like here. Most of the time, all fireworks will be the same distance and a fair way away from you. What I like to do is focus on a building or landmark that's around the same distance away as where the fireworks will be, like the pier here. Then I set my camera to manual focus so the camera will take all shots with that preset focus. If you have a point and shoot camera, the fireworks mode will do something similar. Turn off the flash. You won't be needing the light from the flash for these photos. The fireworks have their own light that will be captured by the camera. Turning off flash also helps the camera to realize it's a nighttime shot, so it will keep the shutter open for longer. There are a couple of other options available to you when framing. Try not to get buildings or lights in a frame that will distract from the final shot. Unless you're around a famous landmark like the Disney castle here. In this case, definitely include the landmark as it helps to give context to the fireworks show. If you want full frame shots, you could use a telephoto lens. Keep your tripod head loose and follow the tracer with your viewfinder. Press the shutter when the fireworks explode, making sure to keep the camera still while the shutter is open. However, if your camera has over 6 megapixels, it's not necessary to do this. Instead, I zoom out enough to capture the whole scene and lock my tripod there. All I need to worry about then is pressing the shutter when I want to take a shot. The fireworks won't look as big in the frame, but I can crop the image later to highlight just the fireworks. Because I have so many megapixels in the image, the cropped photo will still look great. Shoot vertically if you're zooming into just one firework. Horizontal framing works better if you want to capture multiple bursts of fireworks in the one shot, or if you include other elements like city buildings. Another tip is to use a remote shutter release if your camera supports it. This is a button on a lead that allows you to tell the camera to take the shot without moving the camera itself. If you use the shutter release on the camera, you can wobble the camera too much and produce unwanted effects. If you don't have a cable release, you can use the timer function on the camera, but in my experience, it makes it too hard to preempt a good firework so the shutter is open at just the right time. So try this alternate method. Set your camera to bulb mode, which tells your camera to keep the shutter open for as long as you want it to. Or you can choose a really long shutter speed, like one minute. Place some black cardboard over the lens of your camera and open the shutter. Then when a firework is about to pop, Remove the cardboard and let the camera see the firework. When it's over, quickly replace the cardboard. You can then close the shutter or keep it open and wait for the next firework. The two will then be on the same image. If you use this method, remember the framing you set. You'll be mostly looking at the fireworks directly rather than through the lens, so remembering what part of the sky will be captured by the camera is useful for knowing when to remove the cardboard. Remember to shoot more than just the fireworks. Turn the camera around and get some crowd reactions. 
If you time the shot right, you can use the light of the fireworks to illuminate their faces and you won't need to use the flash. Once you have your photos, you can easily merge the fireworks together using image editing software like Photoshop Elements. It's a lot easier to produce an image with lots of fireworks if you take lots of images separately and merge them together afterwards on a computer. You can even move the fireworks around to make a more pleasing composition. The quickest way to merge firework images is to paste all firework images onto different layers and use the Screen Layer Merge option. To summarize, for your camera, set a low ISO like 100 and a long shutter speed between 1 and 15 seconds or bulb mode. Choose Shutter Priority Mode or Fireworks Mode. Preset your focus and then switch to Manual Focus Mode. Turn off the flash. Use a remote shutter and a tripod to minimize shake. Plan in advance. Zoom out and crop the fireworks later. Remember where your camera is pointed so you'll know when to press the shutter. Get reactions from crowds. And finally, use Photoshop Elements to merge your firework images together. Use some of these tips the next time your area has fireworks and I'm sure you'll have some great photos to share.